What's up everyone, a One Tech Traveler here in Malta. I actually wanted to take this time to give you a deep dive in the way that I personally travel myself with my luggage, my backpack. I've done a lot of gear reviews or different kind of carries, but I've never really shown you or given a lens into the way that I personally travel, doing a lot of my shooting, production, active adventures, and having all my equipment with me. For all of the gear that I show you, you can pretty much find my written review on my website at onetechtraveler.com or the video reviews on my channel by subscribing to it. So without further ado, let's get started. It's always good to show you exactly the way of how I'm packing my stuff. So I tend to switch my backpacks again, depending on how far I need to travel. I bought the Saint Maniero at Sempre backpack. It's actually been a good joy to use, looks very different, uh, but also a good quality made out of a water repellent treated canvas and uh, leather as well. You can actually carry it as a backpack. You can put these straps underneath and carry it like a messenger bag or briefcase and it also comes with some shoulder straps to make it a messenger bag. Reason why I like it is because it's got a top load for quick access. Two front pockets for like my earphones, my wallet. If I'm not packing it heavy then I can put some smaller items or my sunglasses in messenger mode or even as a backpack I can fit my small tripod in here or a slim style uh, flask water bottle for side access. Big fan of it because it gives you a full canvas uh, view of just diving in and getting everything you want. So that moves us over to what I'm able to pack inside and I can actually pack a lot in there and I already have my laptop inside uh, but these are the smaller types of carries that I use for different purposes and again do a great job of just making my life easier for all the accessories but also for comforts and audio. So first up I have two modular carries as part of the ITR uh, one backpack. This is the camera module and this is more the small carry module. They have fit lock uh, features on here so they clip in so if you've got any compatible bags that's in a reasonable dimension they can also slot in but these as a standalone work really great for me. The next one we have is the side-by-side -side power packer. I've had this for pretty much over a year now. It took with me for nine months uh, and just the way that it handles a lot of the power bricks and chargers and all of my cables. You can see this is so clean uh, for my uh, wireless headphones, USB type C, my hard drive cables and micro USB, my stylus, and then you've even got zip pockets for memory cards and bulky chargers. Handles well, keeps such a small footprint that holds a lot of the main essentials. Next up, I have my audio. So this one, if I wanna to listen to my music or do some editing and want to zone out from the exterior. Then I've got my Sony here onto wireless headphones. Great job, it has active noise cancellation, NFC. The battery life is insane, so great for those flights. And I've got a Moonlit Blue, which looks absolutely dope. The next two are for comforts. So on the plane, this one is my travel pillow. Both of them are by Manta Sleep. I got the sleeping mask a while ago. They're modular, so fit and contour your eyes perfectly. And I don't get any light leakage, which means every time I use this, whether I'm sleeping at airports as well, they are fantastic. So to complement that is my inflatable travel pillow. Yes, it only takes two breaths to inflate the travel pillow. And you can see just my review that I've done right now. It has four modes of the way I can fit on my neck, depending which way I wanna sleep. And when you have it inflated, it has a much bigger footprint because it's got a rest for the upper part of your neck. But when you collapse it down, it collapses just into this. The camera cube, again, I've actually enjoyed really using this across all my different backpacks. You can see it's got the fid lock. It has a handle to carry it if you're moving it around on its own or even have any universal strap or the ITR included uh, strap. And it works great when I don't want to bring my backpack and I just want to go for shooting. This one does the job. It's got a nice feature. So if you do have any attachments, I use the Peak Design, this to capture two they have the third version but this is going to be for years and it's an absolute beast when it comes to just docking and taking out the camera they've got this nice panel to attach those without needing to put it all the way in and inside of course i'm using the camera but it has a good amount of depth i've got my 90 mil uh, g lens 
and it's wrapped in two covered universal lens covers honestly do a great job of just keeping it dust proof splash proof waterproof comes with two lens dividers it's actually got a good amount of height to it so you can fit much larger uh, lenses in here or put stuff on top of it but using my sony a7 III fits in here either with the kit lens or similar to a 90 mil and then the area where you cover off i put the small items maybe nd filters and stuff like that so really great camera carry that i've enjoyed using on its own and then we come to the meat of all of my small accessories you can imagine i do have a lot of small accessories very heavy duty rugged um, a nice exterior, looks premium and also waterproof and that stores everything. So you've got my sunglasses, 6800 milliamp power charger from RAV Power, absolute beast, supports power delivery, includes Type-C to Type-C inputs and two USBs up to 2.4 amps. So an absolute beast, doesn't weigh too much. Plus footprint, this is the power bank that I only need to have and it comes in this nice protective case, which is great. Moving on, got my Studio Neva wireless earbuds, two of my hard drives. I haven't got a protective case for this yet, but this is again also the RAV power. There's the plug, so it used the kettle plug that I can interchange whenever I'm in international countries. But I love this because it has four USB ports and one USB type C. This one supports power delivery up to 30 watts, so if you have a MacBook, um, then it can actually charge that well. And it's got a variety of ports that, you know, actually I can charge everything just using one outlet. And it does so safe and fast, so definitely worthwhile. Inside here, it has three pockets. So I've got my native Union USB Type-C cables, rugged nylon braided, my Yi 4K Plus action cam, which does the job. And then a zipped pocket interior here. Fits in the Nintendo Switch nicely. These are the Sony MWS623. I like these because it not only has four gigabyte music when I don't want to bring my phone, but also Bluetooth mode, so I can use it connected to my phone and for calls, as well as ambient modes, so I can listen to my surroundings. So to wrap it up, let's put it all in the bag and see how it all fits together nicely. So I have the cube here. Put the carry there. Put the uh, power packer and then <sighs> okay, there we go. So that is my backpack. Right, so let's start with the luggage. It was actually larger than the one that I used previously, pretty much because I bought this to replace that one while out in Seoul, South Korea. Uh, but it's a good quality one from Travel Mate. It's got two double wheels. The zippers are solid, expandable, kind of all of the niceties that you'd want in a luggage. Motor, as you know, is a small island, but always great weather for 10 months out of the full year. Uh, so this is actually much bigger than what I would need to travel with. In the way that I do travel all gear load, depends on the kind of place that I'm exploring or going to but this should just give you a good feel of the way that I've organized myself. The packing cubes are a huge must for me and on the right side I've pretty much got my tripod. This is the tripod bag I have just in case I want to carry it on its own or separately from everything else. So this one here I've actually got a different carry it's by Saint Maniero and it's actually a holder like weekend bag. I thought I'd use the chance to bring a carry something different in case I wanted to change up the way that I'm bringing my stuff. So this is one of three packing cubes I use, which is made by Akido. Uh, they actually complement well with the carry-on backpack, the Acro or Day Pack, which is the Saxon, and they come in three different sizes. This is the larger one of the two. And to be honest, these are probably one of the better packing cubes that I've had and tried, mainly because they've got double zippers. So if you just have one, then it can be a pain if you really pack them up tight and um, to only have one zipper around, but having two makes it equally better. Uh, two, the zips are super important. So the zip pull, really nice, easy to uh, pull onto for that leverage. And then it's actually got a reversible zipper. So it's not only got clean aesthetic, it also feels much more durable to really pack it tight. Very well made and it can actually fit 
in itself so it's packable if you're not using it mesh panels let you see what's exactly inside so that's the packing cube here i don't really have too much going on you see the saint maniero massimo uh, weekend bag i'm doing a written and video review of that so you can check it out later but we move on to the other side because that's where things get a bit more busy uh, on the left side i've kind of got more of my activity stuff so my swimming goggles now i do hear a lot about you know people are traveling around and they want to stay fit or exercise i use this fast type skipping rope good for exercises these ones do the job it's a great cardio and conditioning workout it's very lightweight and doesn't take much of a footprint even with the big handles i like to have a variety of different carries that flat pack that give me the options um, so these are by grams 28 it's a nice ethically made uh, accessories uh, brand the nice accessories to put onto your notepad and they make nice carry-on pouches as well but they also come in this reusable sort of cotton bag we have the main compartment space work with the different packing cubes that i have so the main ones you can see are the other two packing cubes by Akido. These two are much closer in size, but one is slightly smaller. But again, much more heavy duty ones that I definitely prefer and recommend. Packing cube, because I so I got this one from Uniqlo, which is much more affordable and, and they come in different sizes. This also has double zippers, but the difference in quality is much more noticeable and it can actually overflow and loosen its shape. Um, rather than stiffening it and keeping it constrained to the measurements but to be honest you can't go wrong with these again very affordable next one up we have the Akido shoe bag I've enjoyed using this because it just keeps all my shoes uh, together you could probably fit in two lots if you are packing more one of my favorite toiletry bags from gravel it's the Explorer Plus version the reason why I like it is that you can hang it down but also has a nice a flap open that keeps everything organized i had it hanging on my bathroom door and it was absolutely amazing kept everything clean and just the pure visibility range of mesh compartment options through the zippers um, just made life such a breeze for your everyday essentials and then on the back side is for the thicker items so that's got like my hair gels my deodorants my body lotion and even my electric toothbrush charger this pretty much is a great all-in-one toiletry bag that is super robust waterproof handles all the rugged adventures and slots nicely even in my backpack as well so a worthwhile companion to have for toiletry bags hope you enjoyed my in-depth view of my luggage and my backpack you can see my written reviews on onetechtraveler.com and my video reviews on my youtube channel so thanks a lot guys i'll see you in the next video but until then keep being awesome peace